Okay, welcome back everybody. And uh, so now, now the, the uh, first half of the talk that I explained uh, all of those mathematical relations about primes and the indices and number bases and group structure of numbers. Uh, now I wanna, I wanna uh, present to you the, this alter mathematics and how this mathematical uh, uh, composition that we had actually generates the Quran or the parameters of the Quran. Okay, so, and it is a 19 base mathematical uh, uh, sort of uh, structure that involves primes, composite, torn primes, torn prime companions, and the indices. And that's what we discuss in the first half of this, uh, this talk. And, and really the only hint that we have is, is chapter 74, verse 30, it said over it is 19. That's, that's the whole verse, over it is 19. And uh, this is the only place that number 19 actually is mentioned in the entire Quran. Uh, so the mathematics encompasses primes, twin primes, positional additives, subtractive primes, composites, rule theory, extensive relation among the indices of primes, and composite and twin primes, etc. And, and we study all of these and see how they actually generate the, the parameters of the so this matter is beyond human knowledge, as I as I described uh, at the beginning of the previous uh, part of the lecture. So, uh, Quran and introduction. The Quran was revealed on the 27th of Ramadan, which is the ninth month of the of the uh, Hijri calendar, and is 600 A.D. Uh, to Prophet Muhammad. And every chapter or surah, as it's called. Uh, in the Quran starts with a statement in the name of God, the All-Gracious, the All-Merciful, which is the opening statement of the Quran, uh, except for, for Surah chapter 9. Surah 27 uh, contains two, of, two such statements. So what it does actually, then the total frequency of the occurrence of the opening statement uh, uh, is therefore 114, uh, which is the number of chapters of the Surahs in the Quran. Uh, so, an introduction to the Quran. Okay, a unique aspect of the Quran, um, never seen in any other literary book, is that there are 29 of chapters of surahs are uh, prefixed with some initials, Quran initials that was referred to as by Rashad Khalifa, uh, and this uh, uh, book which was published in 1981. Okay, and uh, so he, he coined the phrase uh, initial uh, Quranic initials. And so those, those chapters of surahs are referred to as initial surahs. Okay, there are 29 of them out of 114. So, Quran parameters, there are 114 chapters of surah, uh, 6,234 numbered verses, 6,346 total verses, uh, 29 initial chapters. Surah 42 has two sets of initials. That's very unique. Uh, chapter 42 in the Quran has two sets of initials and obviously 85 Arminishet chapters. So the total number of word God, which is mentioned in the Quran, is 2,698. All of these primarily are based on the fact that chapter 9 has 127 verses, and we will see how this mathematical we described actually generates 9 having 127 verses. Okay, so this is the revelation and compilation of the chapters of surahs in the Quran. It's kind of difficult to read this slide. But anyway, uh, the first chapter was revealed is 96, and the last chapter was revealed is 110. Okay? So the compilation and revelation order are different. Okay? Uh, and then you can break this down into initial chapters. So these are the revelation of the initial chapters in the Quran. And so the first chapter that was revealed is 68. The first initial chapter was revealed is 68, chapter 68. And it's interesting because the way it starts, 96 is called the embryo. That's the name of the chapter. And, and it actually, the first verse, the first number verse, uh, verse in there, it actually starts read. Okay? And this chapter, chapter 68, which is the second chapter that was revealed by the first initial chapter, is actually called the pen. Okay? So it's, it's, it's literature that actually God is... is Stressing and, and advocating, okay, read and write, okay. So, um, 
anyway, so as you see here, for example, in, uh, the uh, the 19th uh, initial chapter that was uh, uh, revealed is 43, chapter 43 is the 19th initial chapter, and so on. Okay, the, the last initial chapter that was revealed is uh, chapter 13, which is called the Thunder. All right. So these are the integer numbers in the Quran in ascending order. Okay. Uh, so you know a lot of times you hear about these 72, number 72. Okay? 72 virgins in heaven. Okay? And as you see, number 72 is not even mentioned in the Quran in any context. Okay? Unfortunately, that's that's how people think okay, of the Quran. But as you see, number 70 is not even in the Quran. Okay, in any context. Okay. So these are man-made stuff that people have made, and they are broadcasting these things and putting really the wrong opinion, and the wrong impression on masses of people, and they do not uh, search for themselves to see what the truth is, and so they keep, you know, sort of propagating error. Okay. So, but as you see here, as I said, uh, that number is not even in the Quran. So there are altogether, <coughs> there are 30 integers in the Quran, okay? So the smallest one is one, and the largest one is 100,000, okay? Now, if you add also the fractions in the Quran, there are eight fractions in the Quran, and those eight fractions, uh, if you add those to the numbers, there are 38 numbers in the Quran, okay? Is that without repetition, by the way? All right. So, and as I said, sequential um, uh, and geometrical value of the alphabet, Arabic alphabet, I wrote them down here, there are 28 Arabic alphabet, and these are the uh, geometric values. And now, I'm going to start with this lonely prize, okay, and see how this table actually is going to tell you about the parameters of the Okay, here. So, remember now, 790th, Lonely prime is 96.19. And now let's go to the next page and I, just, oops, and I describe it to you. Okay. 11.87 prime is 96.19. And the first chapter that was revealed, 96 has 19 verses. However, 11.87 is the 114th lonely prime, and the Quran has 114 chapters or surahs. Okay, so you see, it connects the number of chapters in the Quran to chapter 96, which was the first chapter was revealed, having 19 verses. Now, furthermore, 96.19 is the 790th lonely time, and 790 base 19 is equal to 2698 in base 10, but 2698 is the number of times the word God has been mentioned, in the entire Quran. Okay? So that table actually, those numbers, they generate these parameters of the Quran. Now, now look at this. Okay? So when the first chapter, which was 96, revealed with 19 verses, it actually was telling us that there are going to be 114 chapters total. And the number of times that the the, the name of its author is mentioned in the entire book is going to be not 2,698 times. We also have this, this table, prime and composites. Remember I said, I'm going to show this so I can tell you that there are a lot less primes than composites. Okay, well, look at the 19th one. Over at this 19. The 19th one happens to be, the 19th prime is 67, and the 19th composite is 30, but chapter 67 in the Quran has 30 verses. Twin prime pairs. So we tabulate the twin prime pairs. Let's look at the 114th one. That's the number of chapters in the Quran. It's 4271. And we'll go to the next, next slide. And I'm going to write all of the permutation of 1247. And this is what we'll see. And <coughs> all of the prime number ones are highlighted in blue. Those are prime number ones. And the one in, in violet here, OK, uh, or purple, is 2147 and 4712. These are the ones that are divisible by 19, 7 and 17. And, and look now what happens. 